Wall Street had a surprise yesterday. New figures show inflation rose last month. Prices increased 3.5% in March compared to a year ago. That's the biggest jump in six months, and consumers are really feeling the pinch. Jolene Kent shows us how some families are looking for new ways to make ends meet. Do you know how much one of these costs? Two freaking dollars. We supposed to skip the power bill this month so we can buy groceries or the mortgage. For the third straight month, prices have gone up more than expected, from the rising cost of car insurance and repairs to how much you're paying at the grocery store every week. Before the pandemic, you could get all of these groceries, about 30 items, for $100 on average. Now, five years later, according to Nielsen IQ, this all costs 33% more, meaning you'd have to skip all of these 10 essentials, like milk, bananas, dish soap, and cereal in order to meet your $100 budget. Five years ago versus today, the difference is remarkable. Is that normal? Oh goodness, it's not normal at all. The general theme that we see with consumers is that we are spending more, but we're actually buying less. Higher gas prices and rent helped push March inflation up 3.5% over last year. Also more expensive, baby food and formula spiking nearly 10%, elder care up over 14%, and veterinary care jumping almost 10%. President Biden responding. We're a better situated than, than we were when we took office, where we, inflation was skyrocketing, and we have a plan to deal with it. Higher prices also mean the Federal Reserve is unlikely to cut interest rates until this fall, according to experts. That means the cost to borrow for a mortgage or car loan will remain high. Till then, shoppers will continue tightening budgets to make ends meet. We may be seeing more, you know, white meat on the barbecue than red meat this summer because beef prices have gone up 9%. There's no way you can get around it. For CBS Mornings, Jolene Kent, Los Angeles.